the second of two second round matches here in the American qualifiers. And how on earth is King Ricochet going to defeat the 300 pound Keith Lee? Well, rather, rather Ricochet than myself. Of course, he already got past um, in, the, in the first round, Matt, Matt Seidel. But James Storm succumbing to Keith Lee. Keith Lee, I have to say, he, he must be a favourite in this entire tournament, not only in the USA qualifiers, but also the Pro Wrestling World Cup. This man moves well for such a big man. James Storm in the first round and now he is just one win away from advancing to represent the United States in those World Cup finals but the man who stands in his way is not just any man he is a king who is joining Jay Lethal in the Pro Wrestling World Cup Finals? That is the question. Keith Lee looks confident. The King Ricochet, he's always confident. Just who will it be? Time tag team partner, and it's not about partners here, it's about one on one action. The chance to join Jay Lethal as the American representative in the inaugural Pro Wrestling World Cup. What an opportunity for both of these two young men. Well, ever since Ricochet came through that curtain, Keith Lee did not take his eyes off of King Ricochet, and that could be so important. Keith Lee knows the opportunity that he has to progress to the finals. King Ricochet is the same, but I don't know if there's anyone that can topple this big man. You talk about King Ricochet's speed, well Keith Lee has it in abundance himself. The crowd, I think, largely behind King Ricochet, although Keith Lee has certainly won his admirers over the, uh, the past year, and even earlier tonight, the way he uh, <laughs> was able to give such a, a beating to James Storm. The size of this man's chest, his back, his arms, his legs and yet he moves, maybe not as quick as Ricochet, but almost. I mean, he moves like a 200 pounder, let's you know, call it like it is. He 100%. moves like a man who's what, 100 pounds less weight than he is. And there is a smile on the face of Keith Lee, almost an anticipatory smile, knowing what he's planning to do to Ricochet. Well, Ricochet reciprocated with that smile. It's almost a, a smile of shared respect. They know that this is main event time, crunch time for both these guys. And oh, what's this now? I'm not sure if it was that. that. Talk about respect, maybe a handshake. Well, we got it. On a night of honour, a night of respect, Keith Lee getting into the spirit of things. We'll see how long that lasts, though, because this is pure competition. Well, unlike Jay Lethal, who knows he will face Zack Sabre Jr. in the last 16 of this tournament, the winner of this one won't know, at least for a little while, who their opponent is going to be. It will be one of the qualifiers from the remaining tournament that we are yet to have, the rest of the world qualifiers. But at the moment, it is an anonymous opponent for the winner of this match. Well, either Keith Lee or Ricochet will have to sit and watch with the rest of us who is going to advance. One of two men 
from the, the rest of the world qualifying bracket for the Pro Wrestling World Cup. Lee or Ricochet will face them. They don't know who it's going to be just yet. But again, much like in the previous match between Jay Lethal and David Starr, they can't worry about that right now. They've got to get there first. Yeah, some fun and games here, interacting with the, uh, the fans for now, but this is... Uh, well, we don't want to see that. Not going to last very long, I wouldn't have thought. This is going to get serious in a hurry. There's too much at stake here for this to be uh, as light-hearted as it has been in the first moment or two. And how does Ricochet approach this? I know it's all laughs, it's all fun games right now, but soon both these men, Keith Lee and Ricochet, are going to get into the meat of this match. How does Ricochet approach well, this? How does he tear down the big match? Well, you know what's interesting is you said this was about respect when, when Ricochet reciprocated that smile. I don't think it was about respect. I think the smile from Keith Lee was intended to say, I'm not remotely bothered by you. And Ricochet was smiling back to say, well, I'm not intimidated by you. That is exactly what this is about. That's what the handshake was about. And this fun and games is about both of these guys trying to prove to the other that they are relaxed as they go into this. That may well be it. You may have hit the nail on the head there. Oh, well, there we go. That's exactly what I'm saying, though. How does Ricochet approach this? The smile again? Yeah. Keith Lee says, come right here. I'll squash you like a bug. Uh, well, I wonder how sincere that smile is. He's been knocked backwards from a mountain like Keith Lee. That is a smile hiding some cogs whirring in that brain of Ricochet, as you say. I'm not sure he knows how he's going to approach this. Well, earlier on tonight, Ricochet defeating Matt Seidel. And uh, what a match that was. It was a very well-matched bout, you would have to say. Both men, similar size, um, similar way of approaching things, similar style. They're friends outside the ring. There's no love lost here in terms of friendship. Keith Lee and Ricochet are tremendous competitors, but only one can advance. Well, Ricochet deposited on the turnbuckle. He's having some kind of word here with Keith Lee. I have to be honest, though. I, I'm out here spouting about Ricochet. I don't know how he is going to approach this one. Keith Lee seems unsure as well. A oh, Ricochet! Well, maybe that's how he's going to do it. The element of surprise takes Keith Lee off his feet. And on his back. He hurt his leg a little bit there to Ricochet. Leapfrog from Lee. Incredible agility from the big man. And a drop kick takes Ricochet down. Look at the speed of Keith Lee. And I don't think even Ricochet saw that one coming. Keith Lee with a big smile on his face now as he believes he has taken the one game plan that Ricochet had and he has survived it. Well, he certainly took all the wind out of King Ricochet. And look at this, Keith Lee now, cock of the walk, full of confidence, swagger. Lee will pick up Ricochet. They will fight back and this one is getting a little bit more serious now. Oh, there's those chops. I don't think that Ricochet wants to get into a, strike, a game of strikes with Keith Lee. It's, it's, that's not going to win him this match. No, that's not the winning strategy here for Ricochet, I don't think. But again, I think it's just more mind games here. He's going to say, if you're going to chop me, I'm going to chop you back. Well, he's a fighter, Ricochet. He's called King for a reason. There's no doubt about that. But, you know, again, he needs to... Not, I mean, let's not sell him short. Ricochet has, has beaten men of all sizes, all shapes as he's toured the, the independent wrestling world, but Keith Lee is one of the most daunting propositions for anyone. I mean, how can you how can you not be intimidated when you get in there and see Keith Lee across there from you? Typically, but if Ricochet was in a match like this and he looked across the ring at a man like Keith Lee, he would have the speed advantage. I'm not entirely sure that's the case. Although it proved to be there. The boot up Ricochet, leaping. That's a drop kick. He must go again. Oh, oh, God. Ricochet landed hard on the back of his head there. You notice though, Dave Bradshaw, Ricochet hitting more than one big move on Keith Lee. And all it took was that one big clothesline to take Ricochet to the mat and take him out of the game. Slightly unconvincing kick out, but a kick out nonetheless on two for King Ricochet. Keith Lee believes, I think, with all of his being, this is just a matter of time, and look at this, he is standing with all of his body weight on the chest of Ricochet. You know, if Ricochet thinks he's going to win this with a, with a game of who hits hardest, he better think again. That suits Keith Lee down to the ground. But again, I'm not sure how Ricochet approaches this one. He, he, 
he's trying to use speed, it's not working. He's trying to use strikes, it's not working. What will it take against someone like Keith Liddy? There's only so much this pounding offense from Liddy you can take and still be able to maintain that speed. The ricochet has already been through a, a grueling match against Matt Seidel. Chopping here. He's doing his best. Cut down the big redwood here, but... Well, there are some similarities here to our last match. You know, David Starr putting in a, a monumental effort against, uh, against Jay Lethal, but it was always an uphill battle. And you get that sense here. You get the sense this is an uphill battle for Ricochet, just like it was for Starr. Well, he connected on that one, though, and if those ropes weren't there, I'm anticipating that Keith Lee may have landed in the front row. Ricochet. The springboard, but he got caught. The crossbody from Lee, that could do it, and it nearly did, but a kick out from Ricochet on two. Just when you think this big man, Keith Lee, is rattled, there he comes with a burst of energy, speed. Out of nowhere with that pace. Ricochet didn't see that one coming. No one in this building did. Keith Lee knew exactly what he was doing. Again, that smile appears on the face of Keith Lee, who is enjoying delivering this punishment Every to Ricochet. Every one of those big blows that must take the wind right out of Ricochet. And look at this. Huge hand. Resorting to some unsavory tactics, but you know, if they work, then by all means necessary. So one hand clawed across the top of the head, the top of the skull of Ricochet, Yeesh. and just tossing him around the ring. This is, uh, we're seeing a master class here from Keith Lee. Let's be honest about it. It's like watching a prolonged execution or something here between Lee and Ricochet. As much as you admire Ricochet, you almost want Lee to come out of his misery here. Sure is misery for Ricochet, no doubt about that, but he's still in this. As long as he doesn't get pinned or submit, and look at this, Keith uh, Lee. Oh my God! How high in the air was Ricochet there? I am so impressed by this man. Super, super impressed. He is going to the top of this industry, and he may well start with the Pro Wrestling World Cup. What is he uh, indicating here, Keith Lee? Avalanche in the corner, crushing the ribs of Ricochet. Huge man, but such speed. I hate to harp on that point, but it's true. It impresses you more and more you see it. There must be cracks and splits in every bone in Ricochet's body at this point. And you hear Keith Lee saying only one can go to the Pro Wrestling World Cup Finals. And there's no doubt in Lee's mind who is going. One more, are you not kidding again, me? Not again, not again! Oh my god, that's the worst of them all! He was six, seven feet in the air! Right up into the lights. Ricochet always wanted to see his name in lights. He nearly became one with one of the lights. This, what a nearly 200 pound man, just thrown like he weighed less than a kilogram. Really throwing a bag of sugar, that's exactly what it was. And on that note, how sweet it is for Keith Lee. Go. Tell me he's going to go oh, for it again. But you know what? Lee was going to go for an avalanche again. Ricochet didn't counter. He just collapsed. I'm not sure he did that deliberately. Uh, referee Steve Linsky, our senior official here, the most qualified man in the building to decide whether Ricochet is uh, able to continue. This, these fans here in Manchester, they don't want to see this night end on this note. It would be impressive for Keith Lee and well done. Congratulations if he advances. But we want to see a straight up winner here. We don't want to see someone have to concede because of a referee's decision. Oh, look at him. I mean, Ricochet just, he can't get back to his feet. Collapsed again there. Well, referee Steve Linsky, senior official Steve Linsky, may have to make a humanitarian decision here. Oh, oh my God! Oh my God! What is that from Ricochet? He's picked up Keith Lee, all 300 pounds of him, and a fall away slam from King Ricochet! All hail the King! What on earth? <laughs> I didn't see that one coming. No one in this building did. They are on their feet in Manchester. The only one who's not on his feet is Keith Lee, and I'm not surprised. And look at this, Ricochet punching the canvas, trying to get some momentum going here, some energy. 
flowing through his veins, flowing through, flowing through his body. And was that all he had left? Is there anything left for Ricochet at this point? Keith Lee didn't expect that one. That's for damn sure. Keith Lee dazed, mumbling as he gets to his feet here. Ricochet with a leaping forearm into the face of the big man. Just to prove our point, Keith Lee mumbled to himself, I'm supposed to be the strong one, and there's another demonstration of it. Ricochet landed on his feet, great agility from this young man from Kentucky. Ricochet. What has he got left? The springboard. The uppercut. Ricochet. The running shooting star. The cover, oh, he didn't even get one. Not even a count of one. Not even a count of one. Are you kidding me? Sheer terror. Disbelief on the face of King Ricochet at that kick out, that immediate kick out from Keith Lee. Well, let me tell you, everyone else involved in the Pro Wrestling World Cup must be hoping, praying to themselves, that King Ricochet can eliminate Keith Lee. Otherwise, everyone else is in serious hot water. Ricochet trying to measure him up again. What for this time? Maybe the Benadryl. He can't get him up. There's no way. He's lefted him once. I wouldn't put it past him again, but there's no way that. Nothing left. There can't be anything left. Hit that Benadryla would just about kill the man. Ricochet again ducks the clothesline. Gets picked up and drops down! One of the highest slams you've ever seen. That may be all she wrote, Bradshaw. Of course it is. Keith Lee going to the fuck. What? The right shoulder goes up from Ricochet. Now, what is Keith Lee going to have to do to defeat Ricochet here? Back Given everything the, he's got. Back from the dead there is Ricochet. Look at Keith Lee's face. He can't believe what just happened here in Manchester. Yeah, there's no smile there now. It's starting to be a case of what do I have to do for Keith Lee? That may spell disaster for Ricochet, though the, the smile being wiped off Lee's face. Boot goes up. Heel to the top of the head of Keith Lee rattling the brain of the big, big Texan. Oh, he's caught him there. Ricochet goes to the outside. Such Ricochet speed. went to the outside. He's going to springboard off the top. Missile dropkick. Takes the big man down. Nearly took the ring with him. Lee is down. Uh oh. Ricochet. Ricochet. He can't hesitate, Bradshaw. He must do it now. The springboard. The shooting star. What a move from the King! Is it enough to send it to the finals? No, it's not. A springboard 450. Was that the last that the King had to offer? That's, that's what we have to ask. Because he put his all into that one. Keith Lee somehow, there was no kick out before one there, but he kicked out at two and seven eights. The crowd in Manchester are right on the money. This is awesome. I don't agree with these fans, these people often, but I have to tip my hat to them tonight. They are 100% bang on the money. This is awesome. We are seeing pure competition. It's all up for grabs. Who is going to the Pro Wrestling World Cup Finals? Ricochet, again trying to pick him up for that Benadrilla. Oh. He's got him off his feet. He's got him off his feet, but the elbow. Justin, no more. Took all he could do. Just a spinning kick there from Ricochet. Took all he could do just to get him just a foot off the ground. A glancing blow there. He didn't get all of it. Oh, he got all of that one. <laughs> Made up for it. And then some. Right in the side of the face of Keith Lee. Big chop. The sweat goes flying, but that hurt Ricochet too. Ricochet again trying to use that speed, but he's been caught. Oh, bear, bear oh. hug. Bear hug. Energy sapping, wow. more painful by the second, this bear hug. Oh, he's throwing him over his head, for goodness sake! Keith Lee, the power! Oh! Slams him down with the power slam! The cover, Keith Lee! He didn't. He did. He did not. He did, and I can't believe it just as much as you can, Bradshaw, but he did. King Ricochet got that shoulder up just at the last possible second. The right shoulder of King Ricochet came up before the three count. How demoralizing for Lee. He must have believed that was it. Good 
God. We're seeing history here, Bradshaw. This is a match that people will be talking about for years to come. Oh, no, 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 hang on. <laughs> Even more so if Keith Lee gets his own way and does what I think he's about to try and do. With a glimmer in his eye, does Keith Lee. If all else fails, head to the top. Remember where you were, people. Remember where you were when you saw this. Second round moves Ricochet moved out of the way. We took some time to pose for the crowd. It gave Ricochet a time to realize where he was. Ricochet, scissors kick. He'll need more than that. He needs to keep following up. Oh, this time the knee into the jaw. Lee balling his fists. He wants some more. Spinning. Kick it to the side of the head. He can't. He can't. What is this? There's no way. He's going again. Try and lift the big man up. Oh, God. You are kidding me. You are kidding me. Ricochet with Keith Lee on his shoulders. Drops him. Benadrilla to the head of Keith Lee, who has not gone down. He is still on his feet, Bradshaw. Keith Lee is still on his feet, balling his fists. He wants more punishment. He's still in this fight. He's going down to one knee. Barely in it, but he's still... Oh, got him down, face first, the heel into the skull again. He could have fractured the skull of Keith Lee. Keith Lee may be unconscious. Ricochet is going to his favorite floor in the building, the top floor. Are we going to see from Ricochet? All or nothing. Ricochet, shooting star. And he, oh, he hurt himself. He hurt himself. He needs to pin Keith Lee. He needs to pin him now. Oh, oh. he's been caught. Oh, the, this man is like the Terminator. He just will not stop. A huge hand around the throat of Ricochet. But give both these men a spot in the Pro Wrestling World Cup Finals. Unfortunately, that can't happen, but both deserve it. He will not release that grip. He's been caught. A powerbomb, the sit-out powerbomb from Keith Lee. Surely, surely, no, again. I'm speechless, Bradshaw, but we're not done. Keith Lee going again and again. But the power from Cal oh. the counter from Ricochet, he hooks the leg! Ricochet! 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 He's in the finals! Ladies and gentlemen, the winner of the match advancing to the World Cup Finals in August! Ricochet! King Ricochet, somehow, some way, took everything that Keith Lee could throw at him and somehow Keith, uh, Keith Lee is out. King Ricochet is going to the World Cup Finals. I am still speechless after what I've just seen. Keith Lee is the same. He can't believe it. So, so close. And she's in it. Well, such Keith fine margins, but such grand rewards for King Ricochet. Well, we thought he had this one. But he absolutely did not. You never count out the king. And my God, that was a royal performance from King Ricochet here. He joins Jay Lethal as the American representatives in the Pro Wrestling World Cup Finals. Keith Lee, he's extending that hand now and Ricochet accepts. Great handshake there. Who will Ricochet face though? He's going to face one of the qualifiers from the rest of the world. The final qualifying tournament is free on YouTube tomorrow at 8 p.m. But for now, thanks for joining us from Manchester and all hail the King.